Hello, some time ago on my channel I released a video where 8 bass players were playing Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. But actually, you can do it alone. In order to do it, you have to learn three parts separately. So we have three elements there. Bass part, then guitar part, when where, where we imitate guitar, and the drums. And they're quite simple. That's all there is. So, if we look on uh, those three elements separately, they're quite easy and straightforward. But the challenge is to combine them all three together. So, uh, we start with our uh, left hand and with the bass part. So, it's a cool bass part, and it's uh, uh, the trick here is uh, to learn to play it only with your left hand. So I start with the fourth fret on A, which is uh, C sharp, with the small finger. Then with my third finger, I go onto the fourth fret on E. Then uh, two, four, two on A, and then four, two, four on E. So let's play it slowly at first with our two hands. When you have memorized it, uh, try, to, try to play it only with your left hand. So for lower notes here on E string, uh, you can either use your third finger or the small finger. It doesn't matter, it's up to you how it's more comfortable. But uh, only when you start, um, from fourth fret on A, we have to play it with our small finger and uh, fourth fret on E with our third. Because otherwise, if you will use only one finger, you won't be able to play it fast. So, yeah, the first task is to, to learn to play uh, the, the bass part only with the left hand. Yeah, uh, let's go for the guitar. It's also quite easy and straightforward. We're playing fourths all the time and we're using only G and D string. So the first uh, interval is um, on uh, 18, 18th fret, 18 on G and 18 on D. Then we move to the 20th fret, then 21st. So we always play 18, 18. 20, 20, 21, 21, 20, 20, that's it. Now, uh, we have to combine these two elements together, bass part and the guitar part. And at first it might seem uh, challenging, but we have to find the anchor point. Uh, the place where um, both hands playing simultaneously. And in this case, it's quite easy. Each time we play C sharp or fourth fret on uh, A string, we also play the guitar part, the interval. So we start the very first note. Yeah, playing together. Then we go again to the fourth fret and we move to the twenties. So let's do it slowly. Each time you play fourth fret on A, you play interval also with your right hand. So very slowly. And 
and when you feel comfortable, when you have enough time, uh, then you start to speed up. Yeah? And now the last element is uh, drums. So if we look on the, on the drums, it's just a kick and snare. Later you can add some optional, uh, like a thump, thump hit, or it's like imitation of the tom tom or the scratches. It doesn't matter uh, uh, for now, because uh, the basic rhythm is just snare at first, and then kick a snare. And here we also have to find anchor point for, for them. So we start uh, looking uh, with the left hand. And the first snare is goes on the second, uh, when we play second fret on A. Let's try slowly. Let's go further. Uh, the next kick and snare will be when we play fourth fret on E and second fret on E. So when we play fourth on E, we, we are doing kick. And uh, when we play second, we do snare. So that's it, it's only three hits we've got. Snare, oh sorry, kick, snare, and that's it. So let's do slowly. And here's the same technique. When you when you've got it, uh, you start to speed up the tempo. Now, final stage. We combine all these three elements together. And here we start also very very slowly, uh, reminding ourselves all the time. Uh, which note colorates like which left uh, hand note colorates with our right hand uh, movement either it's uh, hit or um, intervals let's start uh, very very slowly And then after a while, when you will learn all this and memorize all the movements and technique, when you won't need to think about it too much, you will be able to, to play it faster. And here's as well, uh, like, like in all previous uh, examples, we're just trying to speed, speed up the tempo. And then as, as an extra, as some feels, we can add either tom hits or the scratches. We do on the very last note of the riff, yeah, which is fourth fret on E. So the first time uh, we play like a snare and then thumb hit, imitation of a tom tom, and the second time it will be 16 notes of um, <clears throat> scratch, so up and down. So the first time and the second. Uh, yeah, let's see how it sounds all together. Yeah, good luck with your practice and um, yeah, if you're interested to see more of such videos, please support me on my Patreon page. Uh, there you also can find some tabs and MP3s. And yeah, if you're interested, I also have Skype lessons. See ya!